Looper at the podium if you've got questions for Chance. Chance coach was talking about the wide receiver room and he basically said, no, look, I got no doubts. We've got enough guys to make plays. I mean, just hey, what's the what's the depth and the competition like in that room day to day? Um, we got a bunch of guys that can make plays. Like we're like three or four deep talent that has not been here in a long time. So like everybody has real, real high confidence in our receiver room and everybody knows that we're going to make plays. So. Why does your room that only really got better this offseason with additions? What are some of the things that you hope to teach throughout this campus season to some of the younger guys that are stepping in for the first season of SEC ball? Um, that at the end of the day, it's just football. Like. You're gonna, it's gonna go fast. You're gonna be like thinking your head's gonna be all the place. Play's gonna be jumbled up in your brain. But at the end of the day, it's just football. So just slow down and just realize that you're just playing football like you did in high school. So Coach Peeler comes in and uh, has his uh, model, uh, nasty wide that he's had before. And he said, "You guys mm-hmm. kind of voted on it's like, yeah, let's, let's try to bring that on." What, what was that mm-hmm. like, kind of having his model and kind of taking on as your own? The zoo's nasty wide mm-hmm. Well. At first, we were like, kind of like, oh, we kind of want our own thing, you know, and we weren't going to go with it. But then, like, we did our research and the history of it, and it's kind of like a fraternity. So we're like, okay, there's been some dudes that were nasty whiteouts. So we're like, all right, we're going to go with it. And we, we just went with it. So we're nasty whiteouts now. How do you make it your own, though? Uh, that's a good question. You got to make plays consistently. Yeah. Chance, anytime there's a team with a lot of receivers, Sometimes you wonder, like, how does everyone stay happy because there's only one ball to go around? Yeah. How, how, does, how do you think this group will handle mm-hmm. that? Well, there's a lot of games in the season, and so there's enough for everybody, really. So I just think that if everybody just keeps the, the team mindset, then everybody will come. They'll eventually get theirs, and, you know, if we just keep the team first, then everybody, everything will be fine. Anything else for a chance? Thank you, sir.